guys welcome back to crystal craft so today i'm gonna draw another mini painting so this is gonna be the part one of mini painting so let's get started first take a square piece of a white paper here i used a heart chart and uh, you can use any kind of paper clip to uh, keep it still and then add any washi tapes i didn't have a washi tape at that time so i used a simple tape uh, well, we use a tape to uh, make borders clean until the end and if you don't use washi tape at the corners, your uh, drawing will not look uh, clean. And by using tape, you can also uh, like uh, see that uh, the paper will not move from the cardboard or the place uh, you're drawing it. And now that I'm done with the uh, tape, I'm going to be using this uh, blue color to start my sketch. Here for the first time, I'm using a light shade pencil which is um, an 8 shade pencil to draw the cute cats. I'm going to draw 3 cats and they're going to be looking like animated cats. And let's try making them fat to make them look cute. Well, it is important to draw this uh, basic sketch before starting your drawing or painting, uh, whatever you are drawing because it is very important. Uh, if you are gonna start without this basic sketch, you may make some bigger mistakes later on because I am gonna use paint in this uh, video uh, and paints cannot be erased, they can all only be uh, widened out and uh, make it lighter so that it won't interfere with your painting. And make it as perfect as you can with the pencil. Here I use the simply darker shade of pencil. And I'm going to raise all the excess lines so I would not get confused later on. This is a 3H pencil that I used. So this is the brush that I'm going to be using. And this is the uh, dark blue paint that I'm going to start with. Well, actually the key to like uh, add darker and lighter shades of blue is that I used the same color but uh, in the starting I added less blue and later on I added uh, like used a lot of blue paint and you can see to outline it perfectly I first uh, outlined the cats. And you can see that the washi tapes are very working very greatly uh, because uh, the paint is not gonna get on the borders because of the washi tapes are gonna protect it. And washi tapes are very important because of this reason. You should always try making your painting uh, neat uh, or else it will not look as good as you expect it to be. And you can see that I'm going slow to uh, draw the borders for the cats. Or else I'm gonna like uh, get outside the borders and the uh, painting will not look clean. I told you before that uh, making a painting clean is one of the important things to do. And you can see that if you're gonna go fast at here while doing the most important uh, uh, part of the paint, you're gonna ruin it all with your uh, like if you're gonna go faster. And right now I was going roughly with the paints and but now it's time to merge the paints together slowly. The, uh, the hair I left the paint to dry and you can see that it is looking uh, pretty good right now. And there I was adding a second layer of paint to make it you know look so smooth. I was using watercolors you can also use acrylic colors if you want but Watercolors look more good and they merge together very smoothly. That's why I used watercolors. And here I'm going to be using white paint to draw the moon. So the uh, drawing moon is very easy. You don't even have to uh, first draw the sketch uh, like I did for the cats. I do with pencil. You don't have to do it with the moon. Because you know it's very easy. You just have to draw a crescent, a curved C. 
and of course one more important thing is that before drawing the moon on your painting uh, you should let the uh, blue paint dry or else it will not look good and the uh, white will become light blue paint if you're not gonna let it dry so that is it for today's video see you in the next video come back for part 2 and don't forget to like share and subscribe bye